Dow Jones Industrial Average is up uh, 39 points or 40 points as I speak now. The S&P 500 is up four. NASDAQ is up 57. Oil, pretty flat, up 15, uh, down 15 cents a barrel. So we're not going to even talk about gas prices, especially here in the state of confusion where we like taxes, we like fees, we like high gas prices. And I only know that because we keep on voting for the same people that do all that stuff to us. So, you know, if, if you don't like those things, maybe vote for somebody different. And I, I find this fascinating. I've talked about this on Ron Singer Radio before. It's amazing how we complain about so many things, right? Congress has about an 8 or 9% approval rating, yet we vote for the same people. So I think the only way that we can understand these things is my congressperson must be good and yours stinks because I wouldn't keep voting for mine if I only had an 8% approval. And I like my congressperson. Young Kim does a great job, I believe. Now, what are we going to do for senators? <laughs> Lying chicken shift? Are we going there? Is that the direction we're going to go in the state of California? Most likely. I mean, uh, I, 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 you know, the best thing I know about Steve Garvey is, is he's, he's not, a, not lying chicken chef. You know, I've listened to a few things he's had to say, and I've liked what he had to say, but is there any, any possible way that he could win in, in the state of confusion? I'm going to say no, as much <laughs> as I may like it. Um, I actually was kind of hoping that we would have Schiff and Porter in the uh, general just because it would have forced people to spend way too much money in California for a seat that they were going to already have. That would make sense. Rather spend it in other states. I don't know. It'd be nice if it would be nice if we got a surprise in November and got uh, Garvey, but this is still California. Yeah. The only thing I can think of is that, you know, if there's enough people that decide, you know, something I can't vote for Biden because that's a vote for Kamala Harris. Don't want that. And I'm certainly not going to vote, not my personal opinion, but there's people who say they're not going to vote for Trump. Maybe they'll sit out. You know, if they, if they have enough people sit out, then Garvey might have a chance. That is one of the thoughts out there right now. Is, is it there's really? There's going to be a lot of uh, Democrats that are just not even going to show up with as much confusion as there is over, uh, you know, different Biden policies that people are for and against. That would be nice if they don't. 